how do you start to think about transformation and innovation as we come back to the new norm? There's a lot uh, happening, you know, in and around us, right? Uh, we're starting to think about uh, the return to work and, you know, the post-pandemic world and the new way of the new norm that we're going to all be uh, kind of faced with. So in all of my different interactions with the, with the senior executives at enterprises, small or large or, you know, government agencies, uh, there's a lot of discussion around, you know, how do you, go about the, you know, work from anywhere or the hybrid workforce? Or how do you start to think about transformation and innovation as we, you know, come back to the new norm? And uh, SASE, which we know and we've talked about before as a framework is really, you know, fitting very well over here. And the thinking is that you have to kind of go back and think about, you know, how am I, uh, thinking about my site types, right? And what locations that are physical and whether I'm a manufacturer, I'm a retailer, I'm a restaurant, I'm a, you know, sales office, you know, what is the capacity of people or commerce that I'm going to do over there? And, you know, how am I going to, you know, work with the application awareness and the experience? So we continue to see the branch transformation and the software defined wider and micro capabilities, or in general, sort of, you know, application aware, highly secure, you know, how do you define that perimeter to that physical, you know, location, physical asset? And now you're thinking about, you know, what is the, the momentum, right? Do I have lots of people? Do I have few people? Am I doing a lot of commerce? Am I doing little commerce? Do I have the ability to scale up? Do I have the ability to scale down? Uh, so that is very, you know, front and center for the customers. And we're seeing transformational opportunity. And again, kind of fits into the SASE framework because now you can, you know, apply all of the, the zero trust and the cloud, uh, uh, you know, delivered security uh, to the user, whether I am, you know, in that physical office or branch or or some days I might be working from home or some days I might be, you know, traveling, right? And and still be able to have that same, you know, security posture that has been defined for me to, you know, have the ability to access applications and data that reside in SaaS platforms or reside in, you know, private clouds, public cloud, multi-cloud, hybrid cloud. I mean, there's so much going on in terms of the the digital acceleration, right? There's a lot of chat and discussion that, you know, what happened in the last two years is, is literally businesses have done five to 10 years worth of digital acceleration in one or two years, simultaneously bringing security at the core of that design, the blueprint, and thinking about security, not just as a kind of protection, but also a, a business continuity, right? How am I going to keep my business going, right? What if I have a ransomware attack? Or what if I have a malware attack? Or what if I have a DDoS attacks? How do I keep my business going? Uh, so kind of bringing the, the branch transformation with the work from anywhere, the combinations of these things, putting all of the security in all of the user profiles and all of the policies and the access and the control in a cloud delivered you know, secure capability is, is really kind of front and center. I think it's doing a great job.